What up, Tube? I'm back, and today I'm going to talk about the Jake Paul, Logan Paul controversy going on, but where Logan Paul is just undermining him and trying to little brother him, and the fight with KSI and Tommy Fury, all that to come. But first, I want to welcome you all back. I know it's been a minute since I've been on. In that time, I've had two back surgeries. I have moved back to Indiana, unfortunately. And then uh, I've got a new studio, as you can see here, uh, actually playing again uh, with my son uh, on guitar. And I'm playing guitar, so we've been practicing, as you can see, our setup back here, just a little practice setup. Um, once I get the whole room done, I'll do a tour one day. But I uh, just want to welcome you guys back and tell you thanks for uh, watching my videos. And uh, I've said it before in a video, I'm going to say it again. You're never going to hear me uh, ask you to smash the like button or whatever that crap they say. Um, I, I'm going to end my videos. And I've done it before. I'm just guilty. But I, I got to watch a lot of videos. And I'm just like, I don't need to do that. If you like the content, you're going to like it. You're going to subscribe. If you don't, thank you for watching. I just... I thank you for the views. I really appreciate it. So with that being said, I want to get that out of the way since it's my first time back. I want to make sure that you'll know at the end I'm never going to say anything like that crap. So with that out of the way, um, the beef with Logan and Paul. I mean, you know, and on Paul said the other day, I mean, you saw it. It was just crazy. I mean, they were, you know, Jake finally said what he wanted to say. And I think Jake's like puffed up now like he's like you know puffing his chest like he's not scared of his brother anymore and he called him he's like bro like you haven't fought in four months like you're you're a fake fighter which he is he's on wwe yeah they're athletic but they don't fight it's all scripted um so you know jake actually go in being seven and one I mean, he actually wins those fights what do you guys say to rigged and you hate on jake on troll on him you cannot say that he's not good for boxing because the numbers show it. I mean, I wasn't watching boxing until Jake and Logan started and then all of a sudden, you know, the Furies came. I love Deontay Wilder, but back in my day, I had Tyson, I had Lennox Lewis, you know, Vander Holyfield, but, you know, I'm, t I'm a Tyson guy. Mike Tyson, the GOAT, don't care. He'd lay out anybody in his prime. Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, I don't care who it is, in his prime, Tyson's the GOAT. Uh, with that being said, even Mike said that that uh, Jake is great for the sport of boxing. I mean, he's got 74 million followers. He's bringing kids into it. Uh, he's, I mean, the pay-per-view numbers are showing. I mean, boxing was here. You know, uh, with this is line, let's see if I can do it here. Uh, MMA was here, and now boxing is just shooting up over MMA. And even though he's fighting, like, MMA fighters, a lot of guys in the beginning fight these like glass jaw dudes that don't that have like a Owen some record or one some record. At least he fought. I mean, Nate Diaz is one of the most gangster, badass dudes I've ever met or not met, but seen. And I knew he wasn't gonna knock him out, but I knew it was gonna be a fight. And I even put money on it, and I and I hit that bet. I was like, Jake won't knock him out, and it'll go the distance. I knew it would. But I mean, Nate's no slouch, and neither was. Um, uh, not Deontay Wilder, uh, brain fart, um, Tyron Woodley, uh, he just, you know, Tyron Woodley was one, you know, tough dude, and he fought him twice, and ladies, you know, ass out the next time, so, um, the big thing is, is after all this controversy with Logan and Jake and, you know, the little brother undermining me, I can't bring a prime bottle in, wah, 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 and then he wears his WWE suit in because he has an ego issue. Like, you don't have time to take a shower and change. No, he wants to see people in his WWE form. He wants a prime bottle in, which, you know, from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of stuff going on prime, but I'm not digging into that because I really don't know much about it, but I do know about this feud. But here's the thing right here here we go again guys ksi going on about oh it's my fault the contract hasn't been signed yet just a few things to clear up ksi's only just agreed to do drug testing for this fight he took his time with that one and now he's complaining about the weight this fight's at 185 take it or leave it i know you're a midget and you're worrying about the weight but get some more food down here and you'll get there if you just don't want to fight I know somebody who will fight in October, somebody who's ready to fight and who will get to 185. Jake Paul, if you want to run it back, let's do it. Fine by me. I'm lucky spark out this time. So let me know, boys. Tommy Fury laid it out. The fight is at 185. KSI is wanting to change it all. KSI is nothing but a little bitch. I can't stand him. I think that he is fake. 
and also he thinks he's a boxer. Tommy's going to lay him out. Jake would lay him out. Um, it's not even close. So the bottom line is he threw out the gauntlet right here. I mean, he threw it out. He said, look, I know somebody will fight 185. Jake Paul, if you want to run it back, let's do it. KSI, you don't want a contract. Jake will take it. Now think about this. Logan is already undermine his little brother, giving him backhanded compliments, even talking about, they were talking about the Netflix special, how everything was all backhanded and watched the first three minutes. So I went back and watched it again. I'm like, oh my God, he really is. He's got a prime bottle, you know, between his legs. He's drinking one. And it's like, like Jake said, well, you can't just come and support your brother. So think about this. Jake takes that fight. It becomes huge. It's Fury Paul too. Paul's got a new team. Jake's got this whole new like level like that that match against Nate Diaz was awesome. I don't know how Diaz well I do because Nate Diaz is a beast. He he just got out of the first round and I mean it was like an onslaught. But I mean Nate Diaz is one of the toughest dudes I've ever seen. I mean you can beat him to death. He will not go down. He will keep coming swinging. Jake won and it was it was an amazing fight. But think about this. Fury Paul two. With all the stuff that Jake's doing now and all the training he's doing, and you got Logan on the undercard. Think about that. You you just went from KSI Tommy Fury here. You had Jake Paul. Here it is. It's the rematch. It's the get back. It's Jake Paul versus Fury, not KSI versus Fury. I mean, it's it's insane. And to think that Logan would be on the undercard, that would be the ultimate, like, middle finger to your big brother i think and you know for supposed to be a businessman logan just doesn't get it like jake was so good in that interview he's like look i partnered with celsius they are the people that paid for it like it'd be like i wish you'd use this analogy because i love them it'd be like going to an event sponsored by coke and wanting to bring a pepsi in or a pepsi product like mountain dew or you know something like that that is so, that is so like anybody, like I worked for Coke for years, I worked for Budweiser, like it's just, it's marketing, it's brand, it's the companies up here doing it, Jake's not here doing it, it's, it's your people paying millions of dollars to put on their event, just like he puts Prime on UFC and Prime on soccer fields and stuff like that, they're not going to let you bring Celsius water into it, um, and I think it's kind of ironic that Every enemy Jake has, Logan goes after, like, all of a sudden, now, like, KSI's his best friend. Dana White's his best friend. I mean, I've watched psychiatrists go at him. i watched body language experts go at him. Logan has really got an ego issue, and he's really got a little brother issue because Jake is just going and going. He's in the spotlight because he's boxing. He's doing his thing. Now he's back on YouTube again. Impulsive. You know, he's got rid of George. He just had it with his little brother. People are just analyzing that video like crazy. And he's a WWE guy. I am sorry. WWE is not a sport. It is athletic. It is entertainment. It's a it's a soap opera with Cirque du Soleil ac acrobatics in it. It really is. I don't say they're not getting hurt. I mean, he tours meniscus. He gets black eyes. You can get concussions. All that. But it's scripted who wins. That's the thing. So, I mean... He, any, anybody that knows wrestling knows that wrestling is fake. And whoever is written to be the champion, they're going to be the champion. And whoever's written to be the top. Like the last one, Logan got, like, I saw the thing where he went and got brass knuckles and hit the guy supposedly. I mean, come on, he'd be bleeding like crazy. But, I mean, it's just, I don't like wrestling because how fake it is. And once I found out it was fake, I was broken hearted because I was a diehard Hulk Hogan fan. So I stopped watching WWE, and I still don't understand how people get so passionate about it. But hey, teach their own. I'm not here to judge you. If you like that, it's just like liking Days of Our Lives or you know Survivor or whatever you like. But I prefer, if I'm watching a sport, I want to watch a true winner who outplays the other, not is written in because of the script. So Jake, 7-1, goes the distance with Tommy. Didn't look real good. He said he didn't take it seriously on the film good. Tommy really used that length. He used that jab. He was doing good with that length. Tommy really did, but I don't. I didn't think Tommy looked that good. I think against another boxer, Tommy may have lost. Like Jake gave him everything, and now Jake coming in with his new with his new trainer and his new team and doing all this. 
I'm telling you, he puts that fight in at 185, and not only does he get on the the main, like that's the the primary uh, fight of the night, and Logan's on the undercard, and if Logan loses, or even wins, if Jake wins, like that's gonna be, that's gonna be the whole headline. This is gonna be, you know, Logan still undercard his little brother, his little brother come back to Tommy too, and then wins on his, you know, comeback. And especially if Logan loses against this clown, like, it's going to be crazy. And y'all can hate on Jake Paul. I don't care. I think Jake Paul's a genius. He loves to play the heel, and it's just like wrestling. He's a great motivator, or I'm sorry, a great promoter. Um, he knows how to sell tickets. He knows how to get hyped for a fight. He knows how to play the heel, and he's like, heck with it. F Jake Paul. Come on, bring it on. He doesn't care because he knows once you get in that squared ring, it it's just, it's going to be best man wins you know it's not oh well you wrote me in this week so i get to win this time you know and he's done the numbers don't lie numbers don't lie he's done more for boxing and he and his heart's in a good spot he just wants the fighters to get their pay he wants their fighters to get insurance if if i was a fighter coming out today now think about this if you could go to the ufc and be an mma guy that's fine because that's your thing but if you're a boxer i would sign with jake paul's mvp promotions like that he's going to provide you money insurance training he just wants it to be there for the fighters because they don't have long-term insurance they aren't getting paid i mean there was something saying that the guys were getting like 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a match or a, a not a match a, a fight for ufc so i'm getting wwe mixed up again but you know to provide insurance and money and all that stuff and Dana White's a billion dollar company on the UFC, which I don't think he owns it anymore. I can't remember because, like I said, I quit watching UFC when there was a UFC 2 something, everything. I mean, it was like every week. I remember it was like once every six months and you were waiting for it. Now it's like every month there's a, a UFC fight. Like, give me a build up. Give me, you know, four, six months to wait for this fight. Then I really want to watch it. So I stopped watching UFC after really Conor McGregor and, you know, um, Ronda Rousey. They were the last two superstars of that. And, you know, I think, you know, I've read that Patty uh, Pimblett has really lost his audience. So he was the next one I was hoping to watch because he had that swag. But, you know, Shannon O'Malley's good. But, you know, give me boxing. I, I'm a purist, man. I miss the 80s, man, and 90s where... Tyson was just wiping people off the map and then after him you had Lennox Lewis and I mean it was just a great time to watch heavyweight fights so in conclusion I want to say that this fight if if KSI backs out of this fight Jake takes this fight this is going to be the ultimate middle finger to his brother whether he means to or not like Jake's not going to pass up this they've already talked about it Tommy's already thrown it out there. You want it, let's go. You put him, Logan, on the undercard with Jake on the main. Dude, game over. They may start doing diss tracks again. God help us, please don't do that. But seriously, this could be a major, major step. And Tommy's already thrown it out there. The fights at 185. KSI wants to drain his opponents. KSI will probably back out of this fight. Jake will take it. And there's going to be a lot more beef to come. Guarantee it. And thank you for watching. And I just want to say thank you for the views. Hope you had a great day. I'm glad I'm back. And uh, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I do a little bit of everything uh, because I wanted to make it like I've said in my uh, in uh, my first video that I ever did. It's kind of like an old iPod or whatever. You had like rock, rap country all the stuff on it well mine's got travel videos how-to videos uh you know a lot of gambling traveling and then i like to do vlogs like this um so it's a little bit of everything something for everyone so thank you for watching my videos uh while i've been on this shoot i've been on sabbatical for a while so anyway thank you again for watching and let's see what unfolds with this next fight so i'll see you on the next video and uh peace out everybody have a great day and uh I'm going to say it. Go Jake. Later.